Have you ever pondered the depth of the opioid crisis and its origins? It's a question that tugs at the very fabric of our society, revealing a disturbing weave of greed and ignorance. The opioid crisis, a silent killer that has been lurking in the shadows of our communities, has its roots planted firmly in the fertile ground of capitalism. It's a crisis that has been facilitated by the very individuals and entities whom we trust implicitly, our doctors and the pharmaceutical companies. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing, these multinational pharmaceutical giants have been unrelentingly pursuing profits. With little regard for the lives they were entrusted to save, they've been playing a dangerous game, a game akin to Russian roulette, where the stakes are the lives of the most vulnerable among us. And who are these vulnerable ones, you ask? They are the ones who, in their quest for pain relief, become unwitting pawns in this deadly game. They are the ones who, in their trust and belief in the medical profession, become ensnared in the vicious cycle of addiction. Doctors, the very epitome of trust and care in our communities, have also played a role in this crisis. Whether through ignorance or complicity, they've prescribed these addictive drugs, feeding into the cycle, and in some cases, even exacerbating it. The impacts of this crisis are far-reaching and devastating. Hundreds of thousands of lives have been lost, families shattered, and communities torn apart. The ripples of this crisis will be felt for decades, a stark reminder of the cost of greed and ignorance. When the veil was finally lifted, when the government and regulators could no longer ignore this mass murder, the response was woefully inadequate. The pharmaceutical companies and doctors, instead of taking responsibility, chose to cut off patients abruptly, leading to a surge in street drug usage and suicides. These actions have led to more deaths worldwide than many historic wars. The question is, why are the consequences so minimal for those responsible? But what happens when the crisis is finally recognized? It's akin to turning on the lights in a room that hasn't seen daylight in years. It's jarring, it's unsettling, and it's filled with the grim realization that things have gone terribly wrong. The government, regulators, society at large, they all came face to face with the opioid epidemic, and it was a rude awakening. The response was reactive rather than proactive. Suddenly the medical industry, traditionally seen as the beacon of health and well-being, was under scrutiny. Their actions in the face of the crisis were far from humane. Patients dependent on opioids, their bodies and minds enslaved by the drugs, were cut off abruptly. Imagine being thrown into a freezing ocean after basking in the sun. That's what it was like for these individuals. The withdrawal symptoms were severe, the physical and mental toll, unimaginable. And what happens when a person in pain can't find relief? They seek it out themselves. This led to a surge in the use of street drugs. The very people who were trying to escape their pain found themselves spiraling further into the abyss of addiction. But the aftermath didn't stop there. The despair, the distress, it was overwhelming. For some, it was too much to bear. The suicide rates among those suffering from opioid withdrawal skyrocketed. It was a silent cry for help that echoed through the hollow halls of the medical industry, a grim reminder of their failure. The effects of the opioid crisis are not just a blip in our history, they're a stain on our collective conscience, a testament to the catastrophic consequences of willful ignorance. The lives lost, the families destroyed, the communities shattered, will be feeling the impacts for decades to come. All this due to the willful ignorance of those trusted to safeguard our health, those who took an oath to do no harm. The irony is as bitter as the pills they prescribed. The impacts of the opioid crisis will be felt for decades, all due to the willful ignorance of those trusted to safeguard our health. The enormity of this crisis is overwhelming. But there are ways to make a difference. You can join us in our mission to expose the truth, seek justice and advocate for change. We are launching a true crime series that will delve deep into this epidemic. By watching and sharing these episodes you can help spread awareness. Your support for our channel is crucial in our pursuit of truth and justice. You can contribute to our mission by visiting our website, propixcanada.com.Every bit of support helps us continue producing impactful programs on critical social issues. Your voice matters too. We invite you to share your thoughts, stories, and suggestions in our comment section. Let's create a dialogue that can inspire change. Join us in shedding light on this crisis and seeking justice, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, and stay tuned for our full weekly series premiering on January 15, 2024. Together, we can make a difference.